Yeah. Yeah, Dad, no. I, I know 38 is very young to be retiring, but, you know, I well, yes, I realise I've never managed in the Premier League. I haven't made the millions you made. We haven't won the Champions League like you did. But, you know, we did achieve that one thing that you set out to achieve 25 years ago. And I am a legend at Bolton Wanderers Football Club. So, that, Dad? Dad? Hello and welcome to part 63 of the Bolton Battle. I'm Kev and coming up on today's final episode of the Bolton Battle. We have our last two games in the Championship. We're away against Plymouth and then on the final game of the season, it's like it was written in the stars, the one we've all been waiting for. We are at home to my dad's club, Ipswich Town. Um, and it kind of means more to them than it does to us because we've been on a fairly decent run of form pretty much since the transfer window closed. We've only lost two league games um, since the middle of February. Um, we've won quite a few of them as well and it has propelled us up the league. We've had another one of those second half of the season resurgences that we've become famous for at Bolton Wanderers. Um, we're, at, we're at 16th place in the league at the moment. Very importantly, seven points clear of relegation with two games to spare, so we will not get relegated. Um, Posh still might, which is obviously worrying. Um, but if we look towards the top of the league, where Ipswich are hanging out, um, they can't get automatic promotion, but they are trying to make sure they secure a place in the playoffs. Miss out on the playoffs, and they'll be hell to pay. Um, their manager is under pressure. I may have declared interest. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Let, let's just wait. And see. It's definitely my last two games in charge of Bolton. Other than that, we'll see. So, the team that we're going to be playing today, and we are massively injury hit and threadbare. Let's get all these youngsters out of the way. We've had to go, have a lot of them in there because we're needing to get them involved in the team because um, injuries have been absolutely horrific. I mean, look at all that. Um, yeah, we don't really care about those two. But Leandrino is injured. Glenn Jennings, injured. Tomic, injured. Alonso, injured. Mark Parnell, injured. So, we've got a kid playing at right back again because we don't have anyone else with Jennings and Alonso both injured. So, John Ross, a uh, 19-year-old, came through our youth team. Not any good, uh, but he did play for us earlier in the season. He'll be playing for us today and possibly in the Ipswich game as well. I mean, what a, what a remarkable opportunity for this young man. Um, other than that, the team is fairly familiar, if a little bit second string and dodgy looking. So we've got um, the hero of Bolton, Jordan Barrett, in goal. Um, a back three of Joey LeBlanc, Madahali and Tierney with White and Ross as wing backs. Um, Sean Jones is fit again. We didn't expect this to happen, but he is back and he's going to partner Durant in midfield, which means O'Connell can push back up to the slot behind the front two. He's been playing alongside Durant for a little while now but that frees Panic up and allows him to go up top alongside Robert Webber um, on the bench it really is very thin um, we've got I mean Russell Bai's on the bench and in fact Russell Bai in our last game scored the winner that kept us in the championship I mean part of me wishes that was the game we had rather than the Plymouth game because he came off the bench he nabbed a winner it was a beautiful Russell Bai finish from a looping cross from the right hand side just tucked it away it's his first goal at this level and it is the goal that kept us at this level as well so poetry in motion there Russell Bai proving that he is still a hero around these parts yes we know Sean White's not fit Sean White that's not his name is that a real person don't know we know Sean Jones isn't fit we've got Tom White He's always injured as well. We know Sean Jones isn't properly fit, um, but you know what? Who cares? He's only on loan, and we don't have to worry about if he snaps in two because we're rushing him back too soon. Um, in fact, his actual conditioning seems fine. He's just not uh, match fit, so he's not going to get match fit unless we play him in matches, is he? So we're doing him the world of good by involving him in today's game. So what we really want is a couple of wins because it'll be a wonderful way to end the season, end the series um, as well. Um, and really, if we play our cards right, we could... We, I mean, we could still ridiculously finish mid-table. I mean, one could argue 16th place at the moment. We're probably already mid-table, but couple of wins get us up to sort of 13th 14th place we're a comfortable mid-table team and that would be an amazing first season in the championship first season back in the championship for Bolton Wayne Pennock is through he must score he hits the post 
Ah, uh, I mean, that's the sort of goal he's been scoring recently and you would expect him to be able to tuck away, but the post denies him. It's still nil nil. Where are Plymouth in the league? Um, they are up there in 13th where we want to be. So, I mean, a win against this lot has a massive significance for our push for the mid-table. Penix through again. Can he use his pace? In fact, what he should have done is slotted it back across to O'Connell. He doesn't. He elects to shoot from miles out. He's never scored from there in his life. I don't know what he was thinking. And I don't even know if it made it out for a goal kick. It probably went out for a throw on. Pennock again. This time, elects to find Weber. Weber out to Durant to O'Connell. That was beautiful football. That's. I mean, we looked as good as we did back in League 2 there. Chaining passes together. O'Connell back in that spot in the hole behind the front two tucks it in and that was that was just beautiful to watch remember this is basically our reserves um so weber to durant durant just first time knocks it through durant has been immense for us even if we were sticking around next season i don't think there's any chance that we keep hold of a player like him he needs to go and play in the premier league where he belongs i think southampton are his parent club he's made his way up through all the divisions with us there he is again look beautiful ball to pennock um finds him with ease pennock out to the youngster ross ross finds weber o'connell out to white can we have a tom white special we can and pennock tucks it away we're two nil up it's party time why couldn't we be doing this all season long? We've finally found some form over these last 10 or 15 games and we look any good again. We've figured out how to score at this level and that was a piece of acrobatic brilliance from Wayne Pennock. Very, very happy. Right, we're 2-0 up. Surely we can't mess this up from here. Um, and we're only one point behind Plymouth in 13th place as it stands right now which is i mean it's just utterly ridiculous when you think back to where we were what two or three episodes ago um right o'connell out to ross what can ross do he's already on a yellow card he's being a true bolton right back getting himself booked he'll probably be sent off before the game is done um right take a breath that's been a very exciting first half goodness me i, I haven't been this excited for a game in a long time i'm enjoying this um, let's have two wins, eh? Let's be the final nail in the coffin of whoever is Ipswich manager at the moment and leave me with a difficult decision to ponder over the weekend. That's what we all want, isn't it? Let me know in the comments, what would you do? Bearing in mind the whole reason we're stopping is because the save is really clunky and slow, so it's not going to solve that problem. Two brilliant saves from Jordan Barrett there. Tell you what, if we do end up at Ipswich, how do we not take him with us? He is a superstar. His, st his stats and assistant manager reports and all of that stuff suggest he shouldn't be anywhere near as good as he is but let's have a look at him because he has been superb since he signed for us back in league two i mean let's stick on his goalkeeper stats he's just he just should be a fairly good keeper he's not even worth a hundred grand um despite being superb this season his average ratings don't do him justice and he's conceded a hat full of goals but the saves he makes i mean it's just ridiculous um, right, what were we doing? Substitutions, I remember. So, um, Ross is struggling just because he's not very good, um, but we've got no way to bring him off. Um, so, he's going to see out the rest of the game, or at least until his red card. Um, we are going to take off Tierney, though, and bring on Andrew Manning. Um, and then Sean Jones should probably come off as well. He's not having the greatest of games, and obviously not match fit either so Dennis Parnaby can come in he's also on his way back from injury so um, yeah oh, okay he wasn't anywhere near as bad as Jones was but um, he's missed the last three or four games um, with a knock of some description that I don't remember um, right let's make our traditional 10 minutes from the end substitution um, it's got to be him hasn't it I promised you on the last episode it's the last we'd see of him but having scored in the last game, how do you not bring Russell By on to give him a chance to score for you lot for one last time? It's been 10, 15 episodes since you've seen his magic. He's still got it, boys and girls. He has still got it. He's not going to show you it, though. He's keeping it well hidden. He's sh camera shy, probably. There you go. We've won 2 0. Um, nice, efficient win. The sort of result that we just weren't capable of in the first half of the season. And if we had, imagine how differently this season could have turned out. Because if we sling this league table onto um, current form... Where's my mouse gone? Someone has stolen my... Right, my mouse is hovering over Bristol City and I can't move it. There we go. So if we stick this... How do we... You'd think I'd know how to use the buttons by now. Um, no, that's not it. Stages, that's what we want, isn't it? And if we switch it to last five games... There you go, look, we're right up there. Playoff form. If only, eh? Right, let's get ourselves 
mentally and emotionally prepared for a very tearful farewell against Ipswich Town. So here we are then, for the final time. And I'm still very impressed that it's against Ipswich. It makes me very happy. I've just had a war of words with the Ipswich manager all week in the press conferences telling him how he could be sacked and he's rubbish. I'm tempted. Really am tempted. We'll see. Um, So, a couple of changes going into this match. Alonso comes back in at right back. Um... He's failed his fitness test, but he's desperate to play. What can I do? He wants to He wants to be involved in... I've told him... I had a quiet word of him, told him I was resigning after the match, and he was desperate to be involved. So, involved he will be. Um, other than that, we've got Leandrinho comes in up front at the expense of Pennock because he's now fit again. Um, Mark Parnell was a maybe, but not quite fit enough to be involved when we've got a few of the other strikers making their way back into the squad. So... Oh, are we all ready for this? We're playing Ipswich, boys and girls. Right, let's have a look to see who they've got in their team, see if there's anybody we remember. I mean, it's 10, 11, 12 seasons, I can't even remember, um, since Daddy Dearest um, resigned from Ipswich. Yeah, we do. I've pressed the space bar like four times. Obviously, I want to submit my team. Is there anyone we remember? We remember Yeppy Christensen, but from Man City. We never had him at Ipswich. Other than him, there is... I mean, there's no one. No one there who we know anything about other than Christensen. I know when we played them earlier in the season, he didn't even get on the pitch. Um, bearing in mind, he's their captain and star player. Seemed a bit odd. That manager got sacked. This one will hopefully get sacked as well if we uh, if we do what we're setting out to do today and stuff them because it would be a wonderful end to what's been a wonderfully fun series. I've enjoyed it very much. Um, there you go, look, Yeppy Christensen, captain. I expected great things for him when we were at Man City. I kind of expected him to make it into the Man City setup, but he obviously never did. He's in his fir- early 30s now, I think, and playing in the Championship, so shows how well I can judge a player. Right, a player with my name is breaking through. I wonder if that's my son. Could that be my my brother, I guess? Because when my dad was there, did my dad have a son? Apart from me, because obviously I'm one of his... I'm getting so confused in this family tree nonsense, I haven't even noticed that Ipswich have taken the lead. Come on, what about our fairy tale, everybody? Do you... I mean, do we have to press a button in there to tell the game we're resigning afterwards? There should be a resign at the end of the game, so go out and win, because it's guaranteed. Look, it's Christensen as well. Absolutely making Tom White look like a mug. Um, Beautiful cross. Barrett can't do anything about that. Possibly could question his positioning a little bit, but I've sung his praises so much in this episode. And over the course of the last 30 episodes, probably, that I couldn't possibly criticise him. He has been a hero. Um, Oh, there you go. See? Beautiful save. Yeah, it might have been going wide. What of it? It was still a good save. Right. Let's... I'll just check my microphones on that. That would be typical, wouldn't it? We get all this way into the final episode. Oh, can your microphones not on? We've got that got that dodgy uh, dodgy camera audio again. I think that would be a fitting end. I mean, you should be used to that by now. It's probably every half dozen episodes or so I have to sneak the camera audio in because I've forgotten to turn my microphone on. It could well have happened. Wouldn't that be fun if I'm talking about it because obviously it didn't happen and it turns out, yeah, it's turned on but it's not plugged into the computer or something silly like that. Oh, it's happened before. Right, we, we're not having any impact at all on this game. We haven't even got Russell By on the bench as well. That was probably a bit, a little bit of a mistake on my part. Um, it would be nice to break our way back into it. Um, I would be interested in seeing what the attendance is today, actually, because obviously this is the final game um, at the Macron Stadium. After this, um, Bolton move into the cutting edge... Um, whatever it's called, Nat Loft House Arena or something it's going to be called, I think, with its 13,000 capacity, which is part of the reason I kind of got a bit bored this season. Yeah, look, 23,500 people here for a league game that doesn't really matter. Um, And they're the kind of attendances we've been getting recently. So if we were to stick around, which we're not, um, we'd basically be halving our attendance next year and we're already losing money hand over fist. We're about at least £3 million in the red. This club is going into administration next year and it's all the board's fault um, because of their damn silly decision to build a ground half the size of the one we've already got that we're filling. Just stupidity. Um, uh, why have they got number five that far forward scoring his first goal for goodness sake Christensen made it again I mean we just as well he didn't play against us early in the season because he's just destroying us today enjoying the fact 
that he's not actually having to play against a fullback. Tom White's out there, but we all know he basically plays as a winger. Um, and I imagine Joey LeBlanc, um, Mr. Patreon, um, is the chap who's supposed to be out there tracking his runs and stuff from the left-sided centre-back. And we all know he doesn't do stuff like that. It's beneath him. Right, Alonso is basically going to die if we keep him on the pitch. Um, unfortunately, we don't have anybody who can come on and play in that position. Um, I guess we stick Dennis Parnaby out there. There you go, we'll love that. <laughs> He'll be glad I'm gone. He'll be angling for the job. We've got so many old men in the squad. There's at least half a dozen of them who are probably thinking, you oh, know, I could take over here, you know. But how is it anyone other than Henry Ellison? Henry Ellison has got to be the man, surely. He's Because he did so well at Fleetwood. Lasted less than a year. Got him relegated at the Football League and then got sacked. Goodness me, imagine if they promoted him. What a disaster. Right, um, we're going to take Leandrino off. Give Wayne Pennock. One last run out, give him a chance to nab another one of his late goals that he's become a bit of a trademark of his this season. Um, this has been a bit of an anti-climax really, hasn't it? Here's me hoping we're going to get their manager sacked and actually, oh, Penix just forced a good save out of their keeper and it's cannoned back off the post. Um, but their manager's going to have the last laugh really because we've been utterly toothless because everyone involved knows it doesn't really matter for us. It's, this game has no significance for the players or the fans of Bolton. They don't know what's coming. They don't know I'm going to step onto the pitch afterwards and remove my Bolton club tie um, and just leave it hung over a corner flag as I walk away to rapturous applause. I imagine that's how these things happen. How often do managers leave clubs a hero um, after, what's it been, six or seven years? Usually they get sacked or go and turncoat and go somewhere else, don't they? We're going out as a hero. Right, this is what a disappointing end. They've got number 63 up front as well. That's just stupid. Christensen's going to destroy us again, puts it out wide to their right-sided player and their number 63 tried to make me look silly for identifying him. Um, Jones is chasing around like he wants to get himself sent off in there. Um, and Ipswich come at us again. Manning heads clear. Um, we are just chasing shadows at the moment. We're not getting anywhere near the ball. Christensen is destroying Tom White again, and White gives away a penalty. Christensen has just completely ripped us apart today. See, I told you he was proper. He should have been a Champions League player. What's he doing, slumming it down at this level? Three 0 eh? What a way! What a send off for the Macron. Bye bye Macron. It's been good, um, especially that those times when we were below non-league or below Conference North. Oh, it's been a long fight back to put Bolton back where they were at the start of the game. But here we are, back in the Championship, ending as a mid-table club. I think we can all agree that's job done. Um, and we shall move on to Pastures New after all this. Oh, here we go, look. I thought they were going to try and nab a fourth. Come on, put us out of our misery. There we go. I feel all emotional. This is like when... I mean, it's not like when we left Ipswich because we got sacked from there. Feels a little bit like leaving Man City, but I didn't care as much at Man City. Um, do we do a final press conference? Nah, we're not going to do a final press conference. We're just going to drop a bombshell. So, here we go, everybody. We're done. Let's have a look at the news. See what the news has got to say about it. If they don't describe me as a legend, I am not going to be happy. Um, right, here we go. Bolton Wanderers manager Kevin Chapman has resigned from his position as manager after many years in the job. The Bolton Wanderers board were quick to pay tribute to their long-serving manager, declaring that whilst they were sad to see Dave... I know you, you can read this yourself, but I'm going to read it to you because it's emotional. Um, while they were sad to see David leave, his announcement had given everyone an opportunity to celebrate one of the club's most faithful servants. Goodness me, Henry Ellison is 5-2 to two to take over. That is mental. Bolton Wanderers foot, football club legend Kevin Chapman was born in Peterborough. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we won loads of stuff. Looking for a new manager. I can't believe Henry Ellison is in with a shout at getting the job. But to be honest, couldn't go to a nicer gentleman because he has been my faithful servant all the way through from Conference North. So he's only 33. Let him take over, bless him. Fleetwood was just practice. He's a Bolton man. Um, oh, who's left the club? Who's followed me out? Don't know who either of them are. Who knew? Um, right, this isn't completely the end of life in this save um, because we have got the review of 25 years um, coming up probably in a couple of days' time to give you all a chance to let me know in the comments to this episode 
which clubs you want me to look for, which leagues you want me to look at. Um, I know lots of you have said that in the past over dozens and dozens of episodes, but if we can try and consolidate them all in the comments to today's episode, um, just so I don't have to trawl back through loads of stuff in the past. So if you've got any clubs, any leagues, anything like that you want me to look at, um, let me know in the comments to today's episode, and I will endeavour to do them in that 25-year special that will come out couple of days probably um so act quick you've not got long um if you've enjoyed that make sure you pop a like on there for me that's i mean let's get 200 likes we've never got 200 likes before i mean that's ridiculous it's not possible surely but you know if you've enjoyed this series 25 seasons in let's pop a like on there let's get to 200 because it will make me very happy um subscribe to the channel if you want to see more especially the new series which will start at some point next week still don't know what it is and thank you very, very, very much for watching.